Alberta, Canada, and today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite classes with two of my favorite people. We're going to do a little kids class, and the kids happen to be my twins. This is Ethan and Ashlyn, and they're going to help me out as we run through a little fun series um, for kids. Now, the thing I think is important when teaching kids is, one, we got to make it fun. Two, we got to remember their bodies are growing and changing, so it may not look like it does when we're teaching adults. And three, you just got to let them explore and see what they can discover. So they're going to come to lie down. We're going to use a the TheraBand at some point here, and then we're, we're going to take, they're going to use a towel. So they're going to take the towel, place it around the back of their head, right at the back, just back of your skull there. Yep. You're going to bend your knees and you're going to hold that towel up so your arms are up, elbows are up, and then you're going to pick up your head, neck, and shoulders, which you've already done. And then you're going to roll yourself back down. We're going to do that again. They're going to inhale, pick up the head, neck, and shoulders, press your head back into your towel, exhale, coming down. Are you getting a good little tremble? Yeah. One more time. We're going to pick up the head, neck, and shoulders coming up. Could you come up a little higher? The head is really, really heavy. Hold here. Can you take an inhale? And an exhale. All the way back down. Good. So holding their heads is a little bit of a challenge for kids. So sometimes the towel is a great option for them to start to learn how to hold their head from their core. You're going to put the towel aside because I know these kids don't need the towel. But again, great option. So you're going to take your legs up to the sky. Let's go heels together, toes apart, hands behind the thighs. You're going to pick up your head, neck, and shoulders. So here they're curled up. I want you to feel you've got a weight in your tailbone. You're going to release your hands, and we're going to do the hundred. Here we go. We're going to inhale and exhale. Inhale, pump those arms, get the heat going, and exhale. Little faster. Inhale. Exhale. Heel squeezing. Inhale. Exhale. Good. A few more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Hug the knees into your chest. Little rock side to side. Now again, we didn't do a full 100 today. You're working up to that 100, so maybe you start at 50, or maybe you start at 20, but just getting them used to breathing, connecting to your breath. They're gonna come up to sit. They're gonna take the TheraBand around both legs. Feet will be side by side. They're long, so you might wanna double them up, whatever feels better. Good, both feet side by side. Yep, over the heat, yep, arches, yep, legs straight. All right. From here, they're going to use the pull of the TheraBand to pull themselves up tall. Let's just take a little lean forward here. Let's lean in, lean a little further, a little more. And then you're going to use your inhale. You're going to start rolling back. Exhale, you're going to come all the way down. We're doing the roll up. Pull those toes to your nose. Rolling, rolling, rolling all the way down. We pick up our head, neck, and shoulders curling up, coming up. We'll do that again. Inhale, rolling back. Exhale all the way down. Make sure you control your roll. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale forward. One last time. Let's go slow. Inhale. Slowly rolling down. Exhale. All the way down. Good. Pick up the head, neck, and shoulders. Come up to sit. Put the TheraBand to the side. You're going to get into your rolling like a ball position. Hug the knees into your chest. Pick the feet up. Make sure you got room to roll. Lift the legs. Looking at your belly. Here we go. We're going to inhale. Roll it back. Exhale, bring it forward. And we're going to roll it back. And bring it forward. Two more. Inhale, roll it back. Exhale, forward. What kind of balls are we going to be today? Roll it back. Exhale, forward. Oh, hold at the top. Hug the right leg into your chest. Left leg goes long. We're going to roll back to single leg stretch, also known as the flamingo here. So we're going to pull the knee into the chest, and then we're going to switch. Head, neck, and shoulders stay up. And we're going to switch. And we're going to switch. Switch, 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 switch. Hug them both into your chest, little rock side to side. Take any tension out of that head, neck, and shoulders that built up. <sighs> How are we feeling? Good. All right. Come on up to sit. And because I've got two of them, I'm going to show a variation of spine stretch that I like to use when we can pair. So can you guys come to sit by me back to back? 
They won't like this. You're gonna take your arms up to the sky. Legs go wide, feet flexed. Wide legs, honey. There we go. Lift up, see who's taller. Take an inhale, exhale, you're gonna spine stretch forward. Inhale, restack back up. Let's scoot so your butt stay closer together. Restack. So you're pushing back against your sibling in this case, or your twin. Exhale, spine stretch forward. Inhale, restack back up. One more time. Go slow here. Don't push too much, but feel the yes. And then restack back up and rest. We'll come back onto our mats. Legs will stay the width of the mat. Make sure you're in the middle of your mat. We're going to reach the arms up. We're going to exhale, spine stretch forward. We're going to grab onto the outer part of our ankles. We're going to bend our knees, slide the soles of the feet together. We're going to open leg rocker, wiggle them, bring them together. Yep. Feet, palms of the soles of the feet together. Then you're going to tip back, take one leg back. It's going to straighten. The other leg back, straighten. Here we go. Inhale, roll it back. Exhale forward for open leg rocker. Roll it back. Exhale forward. You see, you got exhale as you come up. One more time. Roll it back forward. Lower the legs. Good. <laughs> come back. We're going to come to lie down. Um, no, flip over. Let's do squat, actually. Flip over onto your belly. Well, you can choose to add a swan dive if you'd like. Again, these kids have done a lot of Pilates, so they're pretty familiar. Hands will go underneath your shoulders. Heels together, toes apart. I'm just going to straighten you. You're a little crooked today. Heels together, toes apart. Press down with your hips. Your eyes come up. Your head comes up. You lift up to an extension. Exhale, slowly coming back down. Could we do that this time without letting our shoulders creep by our ears? We're going to inhale, pick up the head, neck, and shoulders. Exhale, back down. This time we'll come up. You can either do the catch and release or you can go to swan dive, whatever feels good in your body. Inhale, pick up your head, neck, and shoulders. Release either to your swan dive or a little catch and release. Here we go. Swan dive. Yep. Eyes up, head up. Yep. Looking at your sister. Sit back over your heels. Have a child's pose. Really good. How did that feel? Like a swan dive. Like a swan dive. Okay, very good. All right, let's come back to lie on our backs. Feet will be flat. A couple shoulder bridges here. Knees bent, feet flat on the mat, hands down by your side. All right, you're going to inhale, pick up the pelvis, lifting up to your shoulder bridge. Exhale, rolling down, bone by bone, bone by bone, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. We're going to inhale, pick it up. Exhale, slowly drop it down, drop it down, drop it down, bone by bone, by bone, by bone, all the way, all the way. One last time, pick it up. And slowly rolling down, rolling down, rolling down. Good job. Do you want to try like the bigger bridge? No, the high bridge. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> no, well, it's modified. We're going to pick up to our shoulder bridge. We're going to bend the elbows. We're going to place our hands around the back of our pelvis. Pelvis. Oh, you're going to press to a full. He's going to go to a high bridge. You're going to press those hips up. Yep. Good. All right. Here we go. Press those hips as high as you can. Lifting up. Here we go. Pretty good for a high bridge. She's got the modified version. Not everyone's got this range, but good it's for him. Slipping. slipping all the way down. Rolling down. Rolling down. Rolling down. And rest. Good. We're going to come up to sit. We're going to take the arms out to the side. Legs are going to be side by side. Sometimes I like to teach this with a hockey stick because these are hockey players. Um, but we're going to just use our arms today. So I want you to flex your feet. Pull your toes to your nose. I want you to wiggle on your sit bones so they're nice and even. You know what the sit bone is, right? Okay, arms out to the side. You're going to take an inhale. Exhale, we're going to twist to the right. So we're going to twist, twist a little further the other right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, keep your feet side by side. No shifting. Exhale, twist, twist. Back to center. One more time each way. Twist, twist. Back to center. Twist, twist. Back to center. Come all the way to lie down. Good. Nice. How does that feel? Good. Good. All right. We're going to still go. Uh, we're going to come up to teaser. Do you want to use TheraBands? One way you can use a TheraBand and one without. You're picking TheraBand. Okay. Yeah. You, she's going to put the band around both legs, heels together, toes apart, she'll come back to lie down. He's going to keep his heels together, toes apart. We're going to take the arms up 
out of the chest. Okay. You're lying. Let's go lying down. We'll count for lying down today. Okay. Right there. Yeah. Lie down. Okay. Arms up out of your chesty. Good. Here we go. We're going to pick up our head, neck, and shoulders, unwind our legs, lift up to a teaser. Oh, yeah. We're going to hold here. Could we breathe? Hold. We're going to roll everything down to the mat with control. Arms can go overhead. We're going to do just one more. Okay? We're going to pick up to our teaser. We're going to hold here. Hold here. Could you lower your legs a tiny bit? Could you lift them? Could you lower? I know it's work. And lift one more time. Lower. Lift. Slowly roll yourself down to the mat. Good. Take that off. Flip over onto your bellies. Let's do a little bit of swimming. And then we'll make sure we do some boomerang seal and crab. All right. On our bellies. Arms out in front of us. Legs hip distance apart. Pull the arms towards you to pick up your head, neck, and shoulders. So you're looking straight at the camera. Pick up the arms, pick up the legs. Here we go, we're gonna go for a swim. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Keep them up in the air. They don't touch now, keep the arms in the air. Swim, swim. How high could you lift those arms? How high could you lift those legs? And still breathing, still smiling. Don't let those hands touch the floor. Lift, 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 lift. lift. Lower back down. Sit back over your heels, have a quick child's pose here. Good job. Okay, we are going to do boomerang seal to crab, which I know is an advanced move, but that is, um, for the kids, they love it at any time where they can be an animal. Um, they have done this before. I don't recommend teaching this in your first session, but you could always break down and teach pieces of it. So, legs reaching long. So, we boomerang. We're going to pick the right leg up, cross it over on the left. Yep. Toes are still reaching on the right side, though. Toes that way. That way, just the toes that you crossed over. <laughs> yep, there you go. Hands by your side, okay? You're gonna curl yourself back. You're gonna roll back. Take the legs overhead, crisscross. Switch the legs, lift up to your teaser. Find your teaser, stop. Arms circle around to the back. Lift the arms, lower the legs. Again, we go back, going back, crisscross. Coming up to your teaser, hold. Arm circle, it's okay. Lift to lower, one last time, going back. This has to flow, it can be messy, no problem. Crisscross, up to your up to your teaser, hold. Circle the arms back around, lift the arms, lower the legs, reach underneath, grab the, bring the soles of the feet together, grab your ankles, bend them, here we go, right into our seal. So we're gonna inhale, rolling back. Clap, clap, clap. Exhale, coming forward, clap, clap, clap. Again, go way back. Clap, clap, clap. Exhale forward. Clap, clap, clap. Now, sometimes in my kids' classes, the loudest claps gets the gold star. Who's going to win that today? Her. Uh, <laughs> one last time, we'll go over here. Make your. Oh, next one. We'll go over, land in your crab. Let's tra transition to our crab and we go over. Crab claws coming up. Pick up, going up and over, gently on your head, rolling back. Crisscross, keep coming up, curl coming onto your head one last time. Coming up onto your head, stay on your head, hold, take your hands by your side, by your ears. Press yourself back, straighten your legs, wiggle them straight. And rest. Whew. So there's just a fun version of the kids class that I like to teach. Again, I've got pretty advanced bodies. They just, their mom happens to be a Pilates teacher, but it's all about making it fun. And making it fun could be doing a session where we look at just being animals. It could be, we've done the Pilates Olympics. We've done, we just, it's an opportunity to get playful, creative, and just at the end of the day, let it be messy but fun. So I hope you enjoyed this class. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you soon.